I look like that one dude from Home Alone. Good morning, friends, and welcome to Sunday. I was gonna brush my hair, and that's why I had my hair pulled up like that, because I had just taken a shower. But I actually kind of like the messy look. I think I'm gonna try keeping it like this, see how it dries, and we'll see how I feel about it after. <laughs> I usually don't brush my hair anyway. I've only been doing that for like the past week or so. It was kind of like a first thing for me, but I don't know. I really like this kind of natural, messy look, so I'm gonna stick with it, see how it looks up by the end of the day. And if I like it, I'll keep it this way. If not, I'll start brushing it again tomorrow. But in the meantime, I have had coffee brewing while I was in the shower, so it's time to make a cup. Coffee has been made, so let's share the first sip together. I'm just looking at it because I noticed I was tilting it a little bit without realizing it, so I just wanted to make sure I didn't spill any because you can't waste a drop. It's coffee. You gotta drink it. Unless you're a Mormon or you don't drink coffee, in which case you don't have to. Dang, I made a good cup. I'm about to go ahead and get to work. I've got some editing to do. I'm starting something else that I won't say until it's further along, and don't worry, I'm not just adding more to my plate. This is kind of in conjunction with another project I've been working on, so it's really not that difficult to get started on. I'll be doing that, maybe getting some more work done on the song I've been composing. I've been kind of picky about it, and I've only been focusing on the melody, and I haven't even finished that, so maybe I'll try to put in a little more time into that today. And who knows? Maybe I'll, maybe I will reward myself with more Trails into Reverie. Maybe I'll play Persona 5 Royal, perhaps. I realized that I don't play Persona 5 Royal all that much because I fear failure. And I mean, I feel like that's a given. I feel like most of us do. But I really thought about it yesterday from a psychological standpoint. And yeah, I like looked back and I understand why I feel fear failure. And you know, that's just because of societal conditioning growing up, especially in the school setting. You're just, you're taught that failure is not an option, instead of being allowed to fail and understand that's how you learn. So, whenever I fail, I feel like it's, like, punishable for some reason. So that's why I can't play a game like Persona 5, like an actual challenging game, because failures, you're supposed to fail. That's how you learn, like, boss weaknesses and stuff like that. It's like, it's trial and error. That's how these games work. But... In my brain, it's like, one failure, it's like, no, that's it, you're bad at the game. <laughs> Stop playing, even though it makes no sense. Why do we do that? Like, I've talked about this before, but why do we let our setbacks make us quit? You'd think it would be the opposite. You'd think our setbacks would make us want to improve. Maybe it's just the psychological thing I was talking about. But, either way, <laughs> tangent over, my arm hurts. Maybe I'll talk about this in more detail later if anyone wants to hear about it. I'm gonna drink coffee and get some work done. I'm in the process of editing my book, and as I've said, I'm splitting up the chapters so that way they're a lot more digestible when the book is published and people can read it and be able to feel satisfied instead of having to spend multiple hours reading a single chapter. Well, the book, at least so far what I've edited, what I've been working on have been what were previously the first three chapters of the book. I'm still not quite done editing chapter 3, but I have split it up, and the first three chapters were so long, I was able to split them up into 12 chapters, and I'm not even done. It's going to be 13 chapters by the time I'm done. Just absolutely wild, man. This is going to be a long book. <laughs> I mean, that's why I ended it where I did. And after I finish editing what's here, I might start adding more scenes from previous drafts of the book I've written. Kind of try to add more context, more character interactions, things like that, so the book is going to be even longer, but it's still going to be readable at least. I'm not making it, I'm not making a 1,000 page novel like I originally was going to. And I like where this is heading, so I think it'll be fine. I also love using Scrivener. It makes it so easy to edit chapters, rearrange scenes, and things like that. It's just, it makes this process so much easier than it would have been if I was trying to edit on Google Docs or some, like something like that. I love it. <laughs> this was a worthwhile investment. We have even more rain, and it makes me very, very happy. It hasn't even been that long since I've recorded the last clip and it's not even raining anymore. My goodness, this weather's more Oregon weather than Oregon is. Did that sentence make sense?
it's bedtime, so we're gonna go ahead and start getting ready to do that. It's been a pretty chill day otherwise, though. I got some writing done, played a game, watched Kayla play a game, and now I'm tired, so I'm gonna keep this short. Thank you so much for watching, you are wonderful people, and as always, let's do our best tomorrow.